Edna Clemente Encarnacion, and um, currently I am the general manager of Techway Engineering. It's a long history, so we came here in 1980. We both uh, recruited from Manila, my husband from SGV, and I am came from CFC Corporation under the office of uh, Wei. And then we started up. We, my husband was. Uh, asked to develop the IT department of our holding company in Saba and uh, because of our relationship they gave us a package deal and I headed a corporate planning department for the group. But six years after the company closed down because of a change in government. So when we ventured in here, so my children were born one at a time, four of them one at a time every two years and the last one was born seven years after my third child. We were already in Kuala Lumpur then. So he, I was jobless when I came here. My husband started his own outfit. It was a long struggle. For several years, 1920, I, the former auditor of that holding company in Benas saw me in Kuala Lumpur and he asked me to join him as a financial controller of a small engineering company. And at that time, there were a group of AGNP people who, was, who were helping him. So they asked me to join in, and I, was, I came in here there as the financial controller. And this group of Filipino engineers for AGNP were doing um, outsourcing. No? They recognized that Malaysia at that time needed Filipino engineers. There was a shortage of technical professionals in the country, and, um, and they were outsourcing it to other countries. And then this group of people recognized that, hey, why not the Filipinos? We are cheaper, we are more knowledgeable, and so we started, they started the business of recruiting Filipinos to come to Malaysia and so spread them out to Petronas-related projects. So basically oil and gas. So we grew up the business. I continued the business. We recruited Filipinos. We hire, recruit, employ, and second them to oil and gas companies like uh, Petronas main subcontractors like Malaysia Shipyard and Engineering, Syme Darby Engineering, Runhill Worley Parsons. Then the company, we call it Accra Engineering at the time, uh, was sold to another public company. So I bro broke away. Someone bought me out and said, start Asdaman Engineering. So that's when we conceived Asdaman Engineering in Jembahad. That was 1995. Asdaman Engineering, um, was listed in the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange by my Malaysian partner sometime in 2006. And then in 2009, we had a problem with the public listed company. And everything went haywire. We continued the business under Techway Engineering and under Charade Crest and to another company. So we are a group of company at the time. I conceived it as, as Daman group of companies. And slowly I took away as Daman and push Techway Engineering into the limelight. The business is very competitive. We invest in people. We have to have good people. We have to have resumes so that we can offer this to, to, to the companies who are, are needing uh, this um, expertise, these experts. So the challenge is the number one is competition. It's very competitive. We have to dive down our prices because for one tender, they said a company wanted uh, a group of a project management team to implement a construction or fabrication project, maybe to build a platform. You can see that in my bushrooms, these are the type of uh, fabrication and construction activities that we do. When they say we want to put up an eight-legged platform or, or a FPSO project, they need a project management team, and that's where we come in. So when I say competition is that when they tender it, they invite 50 of us employ uh, manpower providers, we call ourselves manpower providers. Fifth of us, and some of we have to, we have to compete on the basis of the resume, we have to compete on the basis of uh, prices. And number two is, of course, the work permit immigration problem. It's, it's, uh, it's very difficult to get work permit, even for expatriates. It upsets my delivery of the Filipino to the client. Sometimes when, when the client says, I want uh, a lead structural engineer in two weeks' time. I can't because it takes about three to four weeks to get a work permit out. Pass through the POA in Manila and 
settle in Kuala Lumpur. There is a shortage of Malaysian, uh, Malaysian engineers and um, Filipinos are, are known to be more hardworking. They have the abilities, they're highly educated, and of course the proficiency in English is there. So we are a preferred group of people. We had really no plans to go abroad at that time because we were both uh, having a good, a good job in the Philippines. No? We had no plans un until he was sent abroad to, su to, to set up the computer department, uh, the IT department of that logging company. The secret in this business is number two taking care of your client and your people. I have been known in the industry as someone who, who is very charitable because I make sure that the Filipinos are well provided for in terms of their housing. Because at way back uh, 20 years ago, our Filipinos come over here sharing four of them in a room. So now when I, when I had the opportunity to run it myself, I made sure that all of them have their own private rooms. So in a condominium, there are only three of them with their own rooms. Uh, obvious uh, improvement in the economy. For us to be termed as the number, number, two, number two country in terms of economic growth with a projected GDP of 7.8, that's really fantastic. Uh, I read an article on Bloomberg about it and it really makes me proud you know, because when when we were when we left the country, it was really in chaos under the Marcos administration. And when I go back, I see the airport undergoing a major renovation. You can go up to Ordaneta in two hours because of Tplex. You can go down to Batangas in Lipa in less than one and a half hours because of Slex. It's fantastic. <laughs> Infrastructure is uh, that's what what I meant, no? And of course, domestic tourism. Um, I, I think Malaysia is the number two, I, I'm not so sure about it. No? Uh, the vi uh, Malaysian visitors come to the Philippines, um, ranks one of the top five. Uh, we can thank him on the, the infrastructure's development, and of course the, the corruption, the alleviation of corruption, but maybe we can do more on, on, on the alleviation of poverty programs on poverty and overpopulation, I, that's the one thing I do not see, but overall, the economy is, is, is booming. Um, it makes me really proud when I go and see my clients, when they say they want to see the Philippines also because of, of the domestic tourism that's been disseminating in this part of the world. I wanted to have a program where in returning overseas workers, can blend in and go back to the stream in the Philippines. And even returning old residents like us, when we go back, we would like to go back. I would like to go back. I will settle in the Philippines. I will retire in the Philippines. There are social activities for older citizens. Medicare is there, so they can entice us to go back. Um, and maybe re retirement programs for senior citizens. Mm -hmm. To all the Filipinos who want to go to Malaysia, I think my best advice is for you to equip yourself with a good educational background, experience, and skills. Malaysia is a, a very conducive country to retire, to work, and uh, make a living. Malaysia is so near to the Philippines. It feels like home in terms of uh, people, the places, the weather. It, it's just like a second home. So um, for if you have a plan to go abroad, maybe Malaysia would be a stepping stone for you to, to stay.